So the team tonight is based around two teams that I used over the weekend. Uh, it's kind of a combination of both. So um, I've kind of picked out the legit Series 6 Pokemon because that's what we're going back to tonight. And um, we're going to be playing this one. So the hat is kind of replacing a P2 um, and the Among Us is replacing a Rillaboom. Not the best substitutes, but... Substitutes nonetheless, so it should be fun. Right, what we got, chat? Give me a sec. I'll just try and lock in so I don't time out and I'll come straight back to you guys. Uh, right, we got Persian, Dusclops, Frosmoth. Uh, okay, Delmai's Grimmsnarl, and Taurus. We're there. I need to change this track. I got some weird mix on tonight, and I, I don't know half of it, so some of it's like, if, if you don't like tracks, tell me and we'll skip. Okay, we've not got much time. I think we need Amoongus. I think we need... Do we want to go Hat? Because if we go Hat, then the Dalmais is going to have a great time. Hmm. But we need to stop. I think maybe we could go... Uh, let's go Ursh, Grim, and Bravery, I think. I'm just locking in whatever we can here. But we'll get through this first one. Then we'll have a little bit more time. Um... Yes, hello friends. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you had an amazing weekend. Let's see what we got. Divdax, how are you doing? Sadly, I had no time to breed a team. Dude, you should have hit me up, man. If there's anything, any of you guys that are here right now, if there's problems with Pokemon in future and you need a hand, reach out to me. I'm super happy to help anytime I can. Can't guarantee that I'll always be able to get the stuff, but I'm pretty quick at breeding. I got everything set up, so we'll be able to do stuff. Doesn't help you now, Divdax. So I'm sorry, dude, but in future... Do let me know. Um, okay, so Urshifu and not the greatest spot. Well, I mean, we've got good damage. We need to be careful for the Grim Snow, of course. But I think you've got to fake out something. Um, hmm, you're gonna go for screens. Kind of don't mind if you do. I think we'll go for a spore. Do we go for a spore or do we go for a rage pudar? Because I don't know if they're gonna. Um, Mr. Underhill, thank you so much for the follow and for joining us tonight. Um, okay. Let's go for some Whirlpool stuff into Grimmsnarl. Try and get that trapped first. It is a bit of a weird build. I've kind of had to Ethox. I've had to, I've kind of had to merge things together from uh, my players, cup, my two teams and make them semi-legal for Series 6. So that's what we've done tonight. Whirlpool seems a little bit of a weird move on um on Urshifu granted but give me a chance give me a chance okay and Mr. Onel love you YouTube videos first time catching the screen great to have you here man I hope you're doing well computer kids how are you doing Tenor Beats uh Will how are you all doing hope you're all well right um we've been taunted so we can't do very much we can switch out though. We can bring in our own Grim Snarl. That's pretty safe. They got the light screen up. Um, I mean, we can. Should we trap? Nah, they can just go. I mean, we could Surgeon Strikes. I'm just scared that the Urshifu gets Spirit Breaked here, which wouldn't be great. Um, we could do this though. We could do this. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. Because if they Spirit Break us. We'll get a, an attack boost, which is pretty nice. And then imagine that's what they want to go for. We'll see. We'll see. Tend to be surprised at the difference in rank between PC and last PC. Had virtually the same ELO and rank was over 800 spots better. I know, right? The, the ranking was like nuts compared to like last time. There's way less players uh, taking part. That works as well. So that's good. And um, that'll give us the defined boots. That's better than... Um, that's the best case scenario ever because I kind of worried about if we get the 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 attack boost from the Grimmsnarl Spirit Break, then the Persian could potentially have foul play, which would be a little bit tricky to play around. But all good. Well, all good. Shame you didn't stream your players' cup qualify games. I know, dude. Um, I had Thea all Saturday, so um, by the time I got around to being able to do anything, it was super late. Um, and then um. I had to kind of squeeze in my other games just here, there, and everywhere because we kind of went out and then we had other stuff on as well. So it was a little bit um, of a time squeeze, but managed to do it. So that was that was good. Um, mm, 
What are we gonna do? I think we just throw up a reflect now. I don't really want a max airstream, to be honest. Um, but at the same time, we don't really have too many other options to get rid of the, the clops. So we could just start throwing this out. Yeah. I'm not crafty. How are you doing? I'm having trouble finding a Tailwind set for my team. Any recommendations? Talonflame is probably the best one in the format right now. If we're going Series 6, for sure. Uh, but it does depend on the rest of your build. If you throw out the 5 that you've got already, we can throw some suggestions around for you. Dark, Ultra Darkrai. Not, not normal Darkrai. Ultra Darkrai. Thank you so much for the follow. Thanks for joining us tonight. And Neuvern as well. Neuvern's a really nice shout. Neuvern is a super nice shout. There's a T-Wave coming out, so I don't mind that too much because that'll just bounce our Lumberry. I think we're going to just change the tracks and go with a bit more reliability. Let's change them back. Okay, so that's some nice damage. We'll probably see a Trick Room here from the, the Clops. And Computer Kids been using Driftblim. Driftblim's another nice shout as well. There are plenty of tail, Tailwinders in the format, like Bravery's Tailwinder, but I don't know. I think, like... Maybe, um, I don't know, I don't know. I think we go after the Dusk Ops. It's gonna, it's gonna pain split us now. That's the problem. We could literally double it. I kind of want to start chipping this Grimmsnarl down as well. Um, I don't think the Grimmsnarl can touch. It's gonna pain split our Grimmsnarl. I'm pretty sure that's what we're gonna see. Yeah, they're gonna T wave us. That's fine. Oh yeah, Divdas making the good comment. Um, we uh, we can get the uh, cottony now as well. That can um, that can pain split um, tailwind as well. So it's a good tailwinder for sure. Okay, the tailwind, uh, the trick room setup. We are paralyzed. We've kind of negated that with our airstreams right now. Um, we'll be able to get rid of this dusclops. Oh no, we went after the grim snow. Okay, bad move. Bad play, bad play, bad play. We should have doubled the dust clops there because it's just going to pain split again, which is a bit annoying. Um, okay. We'll be able to get rid of it. It's fine. And I'm not crafty. I have Blastoise Weaval, Frostlass, Crocodile, and Serena. So you have a fire. Like Talonflame makes a lot of sense in that team, honestly. Like, because it gives you kind of a uh, flying type. It gives you a uh, fire type as well. So you've got a firewall grass call. Although it's not technically um, <laughs> the most natural fire type that you kind of fall back on. But I mean, like Talonflame gives you a lot of options in this format as well. You know, um, you can get a uh, heat wave uh, to help with things like Durant. Um, obviously, the Tailwind's imperative for that sort of team. Works really well with something like Blastoise as well. Um, not really sure what the Frostlass is doing in the team, but yeah, if you want to let me know. Bikara, if you rock Tomb your own Bravery, would you get the Defiant? Yep, you would, you would, but you would still get the speed drop. So it's a little bit problematic in that respect, but you would still get the speed boost. Okay, Persian coming in. Um, all right, so I think what we're going to do is protect Bravery. I think I'm going to get a Moongus onto the field. Um, because if they don't taunt Among Us here um, into the Grim Snarl slot, which I don't think they're going to, um, they may do, uh, then we can spoil the Persian. The big thing, though, is that we can um, we can just redirect whatever the Persian is going to throw out at us. We've got a Reflect up as well, so we should be all right. Buffery, how are you doing, mate? How are you doing? Hope you've had a good weekend, dude. Thanks for hopping in and joining us tonight. Will, what am I wrong about? Anger Point and Crocodile. Nice! Anger Point and Crocodile with the Frostlass. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Did we just get paralyzed? On our Protect. There's a Steel Spike coming out. I'm gonna lose Bird. Oh, okay. Well, we do just about survive. The problem is we can't. Um, huh. Okay. Well, we need the bird. We need the bird for later. 
Um, ocean food's not doing anything to it. Uh, we can't do anything to Delmise without the birds, so we have to sacrifice something. We can put the Persian to sleep. Um, I think we're going to have to... Oh, this is really difficult now. That Protect has not helped. Uh, that Fully Paralyzed has not helped us. A nice weekend, didn't play the ASC. <laughs> is that why you had a good weekend? You can't give yourself to find a competitive. Oh, no, you can't give yourself to find a competitive, Will. You are right. But you can give your Pokemon the boost if it is defined or competitive, right? <sighs> right, well, we put that Persian to sleep, which is helpful. The Phantasm coming out. Okay, into Amoongus. I don't know how we're going to... I don't know how I'm going to deal with the Delmise. I think we're going to have to rely on, like, uh, Grimmsnarl, to be honest. Yeah, Grimmsnarl can kind of do a job against it. Um, how many turns of the the Reflect have we got left? Three. Okay. Uh, it's not too bad. And the Trick Room's gone, so that's helpful. But... Um, Okay, I think what we'll do is we'll switch into Urshifu now, um, and I'm going to sack the bird. I'm going to sack the bird. I'm going to put all my eggs in one basket with Grim Snarl and go for that. Go for that. I think that's a better idea. Maybe. Luke Jai Potter, how are you doing? Congrats on your players cups. Thanks, dude. How are you, how did you get on? Did you did you play this weekend? And do I still have the code for you to sit your team? Computer kids, I do, yes. Plan to play it on Wednesday, mate. So we'll we'll do that on Wednesday, which will be a lot of fun. Um the Sidua is a very cool Pokemon. Okay, it's a steel spike. Could have kind of done with the Persian staying asleep a little bit longer. Um, because we cannot protect with Urshifu now. But we do have the sash, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Um and our reflectors wear... Oh, no, their reflector wears off, which is the good thing. Okay, so we'll get a Grim Snarl onto the field. Yeah, and I think we go after the Delmise. Yeah, I think that's what we do. Series 6 is weird. Series 6 is weird, 100%. I barely played outside my World Cup set. Yeah. Dude, it is super weird. So do I get rid of... I think we do. I think we get rid of the Persian now. Hopefully that's enough to get rid of it. Um, and I'm going to just start chipping down Dalmise. We might lose Urshifu here. What's a Persian going to do? I have no idea. And well, Series 5 should have been Players Cup format, but lucky Baz is a god team <laughs> <laughs> I saw you use Baz's team. Worked out pretty well for you then in the end, Will. So that's good. Um, and at least you've got the, the points to qualify for the next one. So hopefully the next round. I'm imagining Players' Cup might be even Series 7. We might have a new rule set by then. You never know. Never know, do we? Every Series 6 team just looks like a random collection of more. I know, right, dude? Wow, that is doing nothing without those steel spike boosts. And there's the anchor shot. Okay, they're going after the Grim Snarl, which makes sense. We do take it. We can no longer escape. Um. Okay. Well, we'll go for the surgeon strikes into Persian. That hopefully we'll get it. Um. I think maybe we'll. Nah, we need the damage onto Dalmise. Um. Just if they double into us here, that's the only issue. The Surgeon Strike doesn't get us. Um, okay. No, no, no. Let's just go for it. Surgeon Strike. Spirit Break. And double into the Persian here. Try. 
Um, Galpro, can I please trade with you a battle? So we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do viewer battles. Um, probably Friday this week actually. So guys, get your teams ready because it's series six at the minute. So I think yeah, we'll do it Friday. I think that would make sense. Okay, parting shot is fine. That's fine. That's that's fine. That's fine. Swede, I run Hail Series 6 since it'll be the only time I can have a good matchup. Yeah, dude, it's the only time it's going to do do well. <laughs> which is sad, which is sad. Hail's a cool archetype. I hope it gets some buffs in um, Series 9. I think that's what we need. Okay, Grimmsnarl going down. And it's literally going to come down to... Okay, I'll reflect where's off. Ah, if we only had Sludge Bomb on Amoongus. Right, okay, so let's go for the Whirlpool and let's start chipping it with this Giga Drain. And Muffy, I've been using Vanilla because I used it like in a team last week um, on the chat. I don't know if I played it on stream actually. That's what we need. Okay, we need more of those misses. Um, yeah, and Vanilla performed super well, dude. It was like, it was actually really good. I think we could win this now. I think that miss is like actually going to be able to get us the win because that chip damage is, <laughs> is pretty nice. Okay, so we'll just protect on that. Uh, okay, let's see. For this, for this exact reason, Will, okay? It's going to pay off and you're going to see why. You're going to see why Whirlpool is, is worth worth it. Okay, so Whirlpool kind of doubling up like the damage with the Giga Drain every turn. So I think we're going to be all right now. I think we're going to be all right. So there we go. Okay, we're going to get a couple more of those off. We'll get a couple of Surgeon Strikes off because that'll ignore all the defense boosts, which is good, even though they do resist. I think we're going to be all right. Whirlpool saving our asses here. Okay, please it's worked out good in game one. That's pretty nice. <laughs> Nobody's seen that move since Gen 2. Right, there we go. The Giga Drain. Oh, there's a Power Whip. Okay, so they hit now. So if they hit that initial one, they'd have been able to KO us here, which is fine. Um, but we would have still been able to win this with... Uh... The Moongus. It's really nice. Um, I kind of used it uh, with Urshifu. I had Rillaboom in my team. Um, so it was nice to be able to kind of like um, trap in opposing water types and then switch to Rillaboom. And they were trapped taking the residual damage and then get Rillaboom onto the field and just remove them um, pretty easily like threats like Primarina and things like that. It was, um, it was, it was nice. It worked out pretty good in Players Cup. And uh, we've got Meekin next. This looks very familiar, this team. Very familiar indeed, but uh, I don't think it's my build, but it is very similar along the same lines. So we got, yeah, the, the Sneasel um, with its Surf. Colossal, uh, Cobra Lion, we need a Moongus hat. That is our only way around this. Um, get the Trick Room up and go from there. I think we need Matawak. We kind of need to preserve a Moongus though, if it is Colossal, because like otherwise... Well, the Gastrodon isn't a massive issue. It is a bit of a problem. Uh, maybe, maybe Grim Snarl as our last one. Nah, Urshifu. We'll go for Urshifu and just hope that it's not Gastrodon. And bet them, you've already bet $10 on an October release. Dude, I hope you're right. I hope you're right. <laughs> and what's the odds? And what odds do you get on a September release? Yeah. <laughs> release tomorrow afternoon after the direct. Could you imagine? Available now on eShop. You could see it happening. You could, you could see it happening, potentially. Right, well, I mean... We could be cheeky here, you know? We could be really cheeky here. And go for our Trick Room and go for a Spore. Because they're gonna Surf. 
And if they go after the hat, yeah, we don't get a trick room, fine. But we do put the Colossal to sleep. We'd be able to get uh, Urshifu in and, and just get rid of it. So we, we would have that option for sure. So we'll see what happens. And having a Moongus on the field still is not a bad thing. So let's see where they, they target with their um, Surf. Oh, they're going fake out. Huh, they're not maxing. Okay, G-Max Volklith. <sighs> hmm. Well, we can get some decent damage onto the Weavile and go for a spawn into the Colossal. So we'll do that. We'll do that. So Bevan, what you're saying is when um, the Isle of Armor detail trailer came out, it was two weeks after that that the game dropped, right? That's what you're saying. So that's what we've got potentially in store for us. Triple Axel, we're not gonna we're not gonna take this, are we? Nah, we're not. But it's okay. We Amoongus probably sticks around. Gonna be very close. Ah, oh, very close, very close. So we'll get the Colossal put to sleep, which is good. Get Marowak in. Then Robson leave. Unfortunately, I couldn't play the tournament. I was going to use your team with Tentacle Weakness Posse. Dude, that would have been so much fun. That would have been so much fun. I would have loved to have seen that. Uh, okay, I mean, what's the con makeup of the rest of this team? Astrodon. Okay. I don't think they got the dust clubs. Do we just sack off a Moongus here? Maybe. Yeah, let's go for this. They'll probably be able to take the Max Quake. It's just going to be good for us to potentially get. The Spore, just in case we don't get it. And yep, Bebum's confirming that. Does anyone know how many participants played in the Players' Cup 2? I have no idea, dude. So there's a sleep onto the Colossal, so it's not going to be able to do very much going forward. It is slower than our Marowak, which is interesting. Uh, so it is min speed. And we will proc a weakness policy here. Oof, very close to taking it down. Probably another triple axle coming out from this Sneasel, I'd imagine. And there's a weakness policy proc. Um... It's a beat up coming out, but not doing too much. So Amoong is going to survive to see another day, which is which is really what we need uh, because we need to um, ensure that we are able to get the Rage Pad. Oh, no, it's not. We need the Rage Pad in the next turn. I forget about the Volklith. That damage chipping up. Well, I've got given my team like a couple of hours before the tournament started. I had zero experience with it. Still shows how good the team was. Mr. Anderson building the Wimmy, the Wimmy Cinderace team. Right, this is where Aquajet would have been incredibly good. <coughs> How many turns of Trick Room have we got left? Um, two. Okay, and one turn of the Volcalith. We need to hope the Colossal stays asleep. We've had like two one turn wake ups already, so like, can we just get one? Where we get more than one turn of, of of sleep. Can it can we get one tonight? Or is the RNG okay we do. Okay, so that's good. <laughs> Mr. Kurtastic, at least three participants, I think. I would I would imagine that is the best guess 
as well i reckon i reckon around that number probably probably compete i mean there's probably three of us in chat that have competed so we definitely know that, that is that is the case right <laughs> But Bevum, if anything, I hope your prediction of two weeks from tomorrow's date is when uh, Crown Thunder drops. It would make a lot of sense if they're kind of keeping in with that same um, time frame as the Isle of Armor. That would make a lot of sense. So two weeks, get the hype going, and then drop the game. So hype doesn't hype doesn't go away after that. Jazz Matem Tem, thank you so much for the follow thanks for joining us tonight on stream hope you enjoy the uh, the stream with us all okay well gastrodon coming into the field making it a little bit difficult uh trick room is about to end but we can max phantasm into the dust clops and we can't whirlpool or do anything with urshifu as long as that gastrodon is kicking around in the field so we're going to be relying on close combats and stuff like that but let's see where the gastrodon goes we've got pl like plus two special defense so we're not in the worst position as we see a bulldoze come out it's going to allow the speed on marowak um see who's slow i'd imagine well maybe the gastrodon slower than than whack oh it's a yawn okay that's not great to be honest hopefully the phantasm can take down this dust clubs it'd be amazing if it can Oh, it's so close. So close. And literally, we can't do anything with Urshifu here. We can't take down the Dusclops because we've got no way to do so. Um. All right. That's a little bit annoying. Gastrodon. GNY36. Thank you so much for the follow. Thanks for joining us tonight. Um, okay. Let's... Bone Mirai. Well, we have to close combat the Gastrodon. I mean, we could potentially double into Gastrodon. The only issue is if it protects. I don't think it will, though. Like, do you protect in front of Inertiafu? I don't know. I'll ice it. Uh... Here to see it. Well, we do get the Dusclops, so no more ally switch shenanigans. Marowak is going to be put to sleep, and Urshifu could potentially be yawned here. We'll see what they do. Earth power. Okay, into Urshifu. That's not so bad, actually, honestly. Marowak asleep, so... Um... Let's try and burn a sleep turn here. Punch the ghost nerd, I know dude. We need to stop we need to stop thinking about these ally switches. Okay, so if Marowak can get a wake up, that's gonna be that's gonna be massive for us. I think we'll be able to kind of clean up if we do. It's just whether or not we wanna go for uh, we have to go close combat. I don't well an earth power probably will take us down after the drop. But that does a fat chunk of damage. So Marowak, if we can get a wake up we will be able to close this one up. Or maybe not. Nah, I think... Uh, now Poltergeist's gonna fail. Which is not great. Ah, the berry. <laughs> okay, can we take this? Oh, we can. Okay, that's fine. I didn't actually think we'd be able to take that. So used to... Um, Urshifu just getting dropped by any sort of special attack. But the plus two definitely helps us. And that is good game to my opponent. So, very good. Very good. Very good. Yeah, Divdax. Since when does Urshifu take special attacks so well? Right? Yeah. Dude, nev like never. Ever, ever. Okay, we got Bravery Among Us, Dusclops, Primarina, Draco's Alt, and Lola Marowak. Huh. Okay, so quite a similar team to what we've got. Except they don't have, don't have a Grim Snarl, which could be the difference for us here. Because we, I think Hat does a really nice job here. Um, we can get a Trick Room up. Hat's pretty amazing. And we can definitely get a Trick Room up. It's just whether they lead Dusclops or not, and kind of counteract our Trick Room with a Trick Room, you know. 
Um, I think Amoongus Hat's a nice lead for us. Um, what do we want? We want Marowak for that. Duraludon. Um, and our last Pokemon. Maybe Urshifu. Yeah, let's go Urshi. Let's go Urshi. Yeah. And this is a good name. Maybe I shouldn't make a Gmail Colossal team since he just destroyed one. Gmail Colossal? Dude, the autocorrect is... <laughs> Gmax Colossal is now... We're gonna... That's the new... That's the new name for it, dude. You've come up with it. It's genius. Um, now, I think Colossal still a really good Pokemon. I think it's just... It's such a good Pokemon, obviously. Uh, it's been used so much as well. You know, like, it's just... You have to have answers for it. Otherwise, it just runs through you, which makes it harder to use. Cool trainer Valerie, thank you so much for the follow. Thanks for joining us tonight. I hope you're doing well, and I uh, I do hope you enjoy the stream with us this evening. Uh, 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 always worry about Drake as all, but we can get a trick room. Like I don't really worry about the Amoongus with Magic God. I think it's one of the beauties that you've got with um with Hat. You know, you can just you can it can spore us all you want, but it ain't doing very much. Wonder if we'll see Max Lightning here. Potentially, if they don't, we can put that thing to we can put Draco's all to sleep the next turn and we just max mindstorm the the Amoongus. Okay. Let's see what they go for here. We have the Rage Party here to protect. Yeah, there's the airstream onto a Koba, which is super, super fine. Cameron, how are you doing, mate? I hope you're well. How was your weekend, dude? And how did your players' cup run go? I know you can't play in the qualifiers. Um, but I hope you had a good tournament. I hear that you ran Rotten Fan. I hope it was a lot of fun, dude. I imagine it would be a lot of fun. And there's a spore. And there's the magic bounce, but we cannot spore an Amoongus. Um, yeah, they needed to get the electric train up, so we couldn't put them to sleep now, because it's pretty awkward for them going forward now. Um, we'll spore, and we will max, and... I mean, do they have, we're there, we're there, we're there, we're there, we're there. They don't have a dog type, do they? No. It's always worth checking these things, just in case. I'm not used to, like, Incineroar's, like, popping onto the field <clears throat> rudely when you Mindstorm, and then just ruins your day. But thankfully, we've not got any of that here. Um, And 1634, Cameron. Nice, dude. That's good. That's good, dude. That would probably be enough to, you probably clinch qualifier with that in the US, right? I'd imagine the bar's low enough for you to get in with that, I think. Might be closer to making it. I think you will be, dude. Is there no... Cameron, if you do get in, is there, like, literally no chance that you would be able to play the qualifiers? Because we don't have any dates yet, so... Um, if there is, obviously, the smallest chance, it'd be really cool. Yeah, and well, you're right. Like Europe was definitely the highest bar out of all rating zones um, for players one qualifiers, um, and then it was the US, Latam, and then Oceania <laughs> with the the tiniest rating zone possible. Okay, Marowak coming in. Uh, we can just put the the whack to sleep. And we can go for a Max Smite into Draco's Alt and get some confusion on the go as well. And Cameron, the thing is, time I get off at 2 a.m. So anything before 10 a.m. I need to... Uh, yeah, that, that makes it super awkward, dude. But maybe it might fall at the perfect time. You never know, dude. So let's, uh, let's all hope that that happens. <clears throat> and Robson. Lee, what is the strategy behind the move Whirlpool on Urshifu? So, I don't know if it really fits in this team in general. I do like it as a utility move in general. I think it's quite good. Um, I had it in my Series 5 team. So, I had things like Rillaboom in the team um, that I could really bring in. So, I could trap water types like Primarina. Um, and like those really. I think it works better in Series 5 because you've got those really like well built, like um, very core centric teams with like Primarina, Ferrothorn, Arcanine or Incineroar um, 
or prim rillaboom incineroar teams there's a lot of switching going around a lot of the time so it's hard to kind of pin things down but like urshifu can pin a lot of things down with the, with the whirlpool and then you can switch into so like you can pin down primarina and then get your um rillaboom on the field and just and just get rid of it so for situations like that i found it more useful than uh aqua jet ever really was for myself so for that reason that's um that's really why um I went for it over Aquajet, and it, there was a few games where it really came in clutch um, and and it won me games just with trapping or just the residual damage because uh, it's like an eighth every turn uh, that you get for four to five turns. So it's it's actually a really good move. So there's a, there's the uh, there's the code, friends. So if you do try it out, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you have a lot of fun with it. Live stream tomorrow will be the same time. No, live stream tomorrow will be like two p.m. UK time um, when the the uh, the Crown Tundra stuff comes out. So we'll do a little bit there, and uh, we'll we'll see that, and then chat about all the changes and all the excitement and stuff like that. Um, so as always. My friends, thank you so much for coming to the stream tonight. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care of yourselves, guys. Have a good one, and I'll see you all. See you all for the next one. So until then, bye-bye.